shown toward us. Amen. I can truly say down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. Amen. Amen. All right, so as we get ready to come before the Lord in prayer, if anybody has a particular prayer request, you can uh, let it be known at this particular time. Oh, praise the Lord, Pastor. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Sir. I'm glad, glad you're here. <laughs> My brother? Yeah, I'd just like to um, just pray for all the saints and um, Christian ministries. Um, those that are here, those that are on their way, those that are sick in their bodies. Amen. We pray that the Lord's will be done. Uh, Bible study on this morning. And uh, let the Spirit rest upon them. Yes, yes. Amen. Did y'all hear him? church, amen, Christian ministries, uh, pray for those who are here, uh, those that are on their way, pray for those who are sick in their bodies, um, pray for the uh, Bible study on tonight, uh, we pray for the bishop, that the spirit of the rest of the corners, give him up. Amen. Any other prayer requests? Let's remember all the lead families, men and women and children everywhere, as he's already stated, that the Lord continue to save and add to the church. Looks like some people taking advantage of the summer day. So let's pray for those that are uh, out there taking advantage of the day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. There'll be none other prayer requests like church to stand. Let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and watched over us and kept us, even this very hour. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to strengthen us in our spirit, yes. our soul, and our body, that you would lead us and guide us into all truth, that you allow us, Lord, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might, and, Lord, that you would keep us in the center of your will, yes. that your most perfect will be done in our lives. Remember each and every request that's been made known to you, Lord. Yes. Lord, we bombard heaven, believing in you, yes. trusting in you, yes. and your power and your might. Father, we thank you, we praise you, give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 We certainly thank God and praise God for how he has blessed us. Amen. As we have been talking and teaching here lately, the Lord has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Heavenly place in Christ Jesus. The Lord has done some great things for us. Amen. Amen. We appreciate everything that the Lord has done and everything that he's doing for us. Amen? Thank you, Lord. With those blessings, uh, we understand and we know that that uh, uh, we got an adversary. Amen? The enemy. He wants to attack us and to keep us down so that we can achieve that which God has for us. Amen. Amen? So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Talk about warfare tonight. And, and uh, I often remember I'm thinking about possessing what God has, has for us. And every time I think about possessing that which God has for us, it always reminds me of the children of Israel. When 
after that 40 years that they spent plus in the wilderness, the Lord told them, you know, uh, Moses uh, is dead, my servant, and he's telling Joshua to go over to possess the land. Amen. Told them to go over to possess it. And I often remember that he told them that I have given it unto you. Amen. I have given it unto you. But you've got to go over and get it. Yeah. Amen. You've got to go over and possess that which God has given unto you. Amen. And, and that's the equivalent, equivalent of the scripture that says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Amen. But the violence has to take it what? By force. And that's what that, that's what that scripture means. That, that, that what God has given you, you have an adversary that is trying to stop you and block you from uh, obtaining that which God has given it to you. But you have to take it by force. In other, in other words, you can't go to the devil and ask for permission. <laughs> you know, he ain't going to give you permission. Uh, God has already given you permission. Yeah. God has already given you authority. God has already blessed you. Amen? Amen. So you can't ask for permission for what God has given you from the devil, Amen. from the enemy. Amen? Hallelujah. Oh, you got to take it. <laughs> take what God has given you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Uh, Y'all don't look like a fighting bunch tonight. <laughs> Amen. I reminded that car commercial and that cartoon. Put your dukes up. Put your dukes up. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. All right. So we want to go uh, to the book of Ephesians. Amen. Ephesians chapter, chapter number six. Amen. And then I'm going to teach a little while. Then I'm going to have uh, Pastor Lockett and one of you come up and say some words to us as well. Did you hear me, Pastor Lockett? Pastor Lockett. Uh, all right. I said, I'm going to teach a little while, but I want you to come up and have some words, yes, sir. words for us too. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel led by the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Lord. I love y'all. Love me too, Mr. You see, when I first walked in here, it was cold, but now I feel a little hot. <laughs> they got that door Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh, we want to go to uh, Ephesians chapter number six and. Uh, have our readers begin reading at verse number 10. Everybody have a say amen. 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 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Yes. And in the power of his might. Yes. Now, read. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. So he says, finally, my brethren. And that word finally there means, based on everything he said uh, from chapter number one up to chapter number six. Amen. He's drawing down into a conclusion. Uh, and you got to think about uh, all that he has said, all the promises that were made unto you, and, and what God has for you. Amen. God has some great things for you. But... You have an adversary, uh, the enemy, the devil, who wants to try, who, who not wants to try, but is trying to uh, stop you from achieving that which God has for you. Yeah. Amen? So I just want to ask a question. I want to ask a question. Uh, I think questions are good. Don't y'all think questions are good? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> what, what is spiritual warfare? No right or wrong answer. Just, just based on your experience. A lot of us have been here for some years, some more than others, you know, but, but we all encounter 
spiritual warfare. So what is that? What is spiritual warfare? Battles in your mind. All right, battles in the mind. All right. I would say it's uh, the uh, warfare battle, the, the light, the light and the darkness battle, battle between the light and the darkness. All right. Now you're hitting upon spiritual. Uh, the, 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 the adversaries, the forces of light and darkness, yeah. battling in the mind. All right. Physical, you can see it. All right. The spiritual warfare, you can see it. Uh huh. With the natural eye. The natural eye, you have to have a spiritual eye to see spirit. Yeah. So there's a difference then. He's bringing out a difference between uh, the spiritual and the natural. Is that true? Yeah. Yes, absolutely that's Amen. true. Amen. Amen. And with the natural, uh, I could, if, if Monty was, uh, Ella Monty was trying to hit me in the natural, I could see it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and uh, in the, if, if the enemy is trying to attack me, uh, if I become spiritually alert and have spiritual discernment, I can be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what? Uh, would allow me to see it. My sister? The Lord, the Lord would, would um, let us know. The Lord, the Spirit. All right. The Spirit will give you the discernment of it. What else? I like that. So, uh, to catch on to some of what she said, uh, we're just spiritual beings uh -huh. living in a natural body. Yes. And we're living supernatural experiences uh -huh. with God. Yes. So that makes it the spiritual warfare. Yes. Fighting against the enemy, the enemy mm -hmm. who is spiritual. Mm -hmm. The enemy is not natural. Mm -hmm. He's spiritual. Mm -hmm. But what else will help us to discern him is that he has what the police officer calls a modus operandi. He has a method yeah. of operation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Doesn't he? Yes, he does. huh? oh, yeah. he, he has yeah. a method yeah. of operation. Yeah. The more you are able to spot his method, huh? you're able to, to, to spot his attack. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And the better you are or skilled you are at fighting, uh, you know how to counteract this attack. Y'all see my stance? I'm ready to fight. Uh, uh, I'm ready. Uh, and depending on how he's attacking me, uh, I can counterattack. But do I have to wait for him to attack me? No. No. I can put on the offensive as well. I can see it and, and respond before yes. he shoots his blow. Yes. Amen. 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 Huh? But you got to be alert. Bind. Bind. Huh? You got to be alert. Yes. Amen. Got to be skilled. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Huh? And like, like Elder just said, you got to have on the whole armor. Yes. Huh? As the Bible, as we're going to talk about, got to put on the whole armor yes. of God. Yes. That you might be able to do what? Stand. Stand. Uh, against the, the wiles of the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And people who don't, I, I'm getting ahead of my Bible study, but that's all right. But people who don't put on the whole armor of God will not be successful mm -hmm. in the combat, in the fight. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put the whole armor on. Yeah. Amen. And, and here it is. I want you to catch this. People who don't put the old armor on will be exposed in some area and that will cause them problems. Uh, uh, if I don't put this, the uh, girt my loins about with truth, the lying spirit will always overtake me. Uh, 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 the habit of lying. 
Yeah. Huh? And, and you know, the uh, Bible says all liars are going to have a what? Part of your leg. You know, you can't, you can't stand in the presence of God lying all the time. No. Amen? No. Huh? You follow me? Yes, so it's going to be a problem. Yeah. So you got to gird your loins about with what? Truth. Truth. Amen? If you don't put on the breastplate of righteousness, your behavior, your conduct, yeah. huh? you won't do things right. Yeah. Huh? In the sight of the Lord, it'll be a problem. Yes. Amen? You with me? Yeah. Huh? If you don't take the shield of faith, you'll walk around faithless. Yeah. Huh? Doubting. Yeah. Huh? If, you don't, if you don't do that, you don't have the combination on the full protection on, uh, there'll be an area of vulnerability that, uh, that the enemy will exploit and attack, yeah. uh, which will always leave you hurt, wounded, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, unsuccessful. Yeah. Yes. Uh, am I right? Yes. Uh, so you got to put it on. You got to put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. I was, uh, I was, uh, uh, well, we'll leave that. Go. All right. Thank you, Lord. Uh, all right. So, so let's look at then. I got one more question. That was the first question. I got another question. All right. We are in a battle with with forces of evil from birth. Amen. And, and, and when I was writing that down, Holy Ghost said, even before birth, even before you got here, yes. uh, the enemy was trying to destroy you. Yeah. Uh, mm. Amen. Kill you. Yeah. Uh, when I was about, I think I was about seven, I was walking home from the store with my dad. And out of nowhere, he said, boy, you here because the rubber busted. <laughs> I was like, what? What you talking about? <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Huh? So, so, so God, God was using him to reveal that to me for such a time as this. Huh? That, 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 that even back then he tried to stop huh? what God was trying to bring forth. Yes. And the prophylactic couldn't stop it. <laughs> Come on here. Come on. Huh? The enemy tried to kill, steal, and stop you from being here, but no weapon huh? formed against you shall prosper. Amen. My brother? Yeah. I remember things from way back from when I was two. Father told me about, probably about 10 years ago now, he said, uh